Today we're going to look at the idea of probability, and you've heard this word tossed around a lot probably, but to make sure we're all on the same page, probability tells us how likely something is to happen. The probability values can range from zero, a probability of zero means that that something is impossible, to a probability of one or 100 percent, and that means that that event is certain to happen, and it can be any value in between. A probability of 0.5 means it's just as likely to happen as it is to not happen. So Let's talk about some important vocabulary with probability. We have the terms outcome, sample space, and event. The outcome is any result of a trial. It could be something that happens when we roll a dice, or it could be something that happens when we flip a coin, when we pick lottery numbers. All of those different results of that thing that we're doing is considered an outcome. The sample space is a listing of all possible outcomes. So let me say it again, it's a listing, important word here is listing, this sample space shows us every possible thing that could happen from this thing that we are doing. And we'll look at an example to show you what these different things look like in context. An event is any specific outcome. that is the result of doing this thing that we're doing. So I keep saying this thing, let's get specific. We're going to consider a die numbered one through six. There's a pretty picture of one right here. It's a standard six-sided die. An event, there's lots of different events. The example I'm going to give is the event is roll an even. The event could have been roll a six. The event could have been roll a number from one to three. There's lots of different events that can happen when we roll this dice. The sample space for rolling a dice would be one, two, three, four, five, six. These are all of the possible outcomes of when I roll this die. These are the only things that can happen, and it's everything that could happen. An outcome, a favorable outcome, let's be specific here, what would be considered a favorable outcome? Well, the favorable outcomes would be anything that's in the sample space that matches with our event. So we're talking a 2, a 4, and a 6. Now that we've talked vocab, let's talk about how do we find this mystical thing called probability. Well, we're going to look at theoretical probability. It has to do with things that could happen if we were to do this thing that we're talking about. So the probability of some event happening is the number of favorable outcomes divided by the number of possible outcomes. So in our example from the previous screen, what's the probability of rolling an even? Well, how many favorable outcomes were there? There were three. And how many possible outcomes were there? There were six. So the probability is one half, or we could say it's 50 percent, or we could say it's 0 0.5. Probability is given one of three ways usually. It's given as a, a fraction, or it's given as a percentage, or it's given as a decimal. Personally, I'm going to give it as a fraction most of the time. I think it requires the least amount of work. So here's another example. What is the probability that if I randomly select a planet, it's going to be closer to the sun than Earth? Pause the video and try to answer this question. Okay, so to answer this question, you do need to know a little bit about our solar system. 
And what you need to know is that if I'm choosing a planet, I have eight planets to choose from. Remember, Pluto is not really counted as a planet anymore. I disagree with that, but who am I to say what, what a planet is and what isn't? So eight planets as a possible outcome, how many planets would be considered a favorable outcome? Well, how many planets are closer to the sun? Um, well, there's Mercury. And there's Venus. And then comes Earth. And the sun's right here. Big ball of gas. Um, how many planets are closer to the sun than Earth? I gave an extra E to Earth because I think it's that important. Well, there's two. So this probability I would give as... One-fourth, you could say 25%, 0.25, I would give the answer as one-fourth. Let's talk about another vocabulary term, the complement of an event. Basically, this means it's sort of the flip side of a probability. It's the probability of something not happening. When we say, what's the probability of something happening? The complement to that is that it doesn't happen. And... Either an event is going to happen or it's not going to happen, and that's guaranteed that it's either going to happen or not happen. And what that means is that the sum of the probability and its complement has to be 1. So the, we can take that and reason out that the probability of something not happening is equal to 1 minus the probability that it does happen, and this next example will illustrate that idea. So if 20 people have drink A, and 10 people have drink B, and another 10 people have drink C, I want to know two things. What's the probability that I randomly select a person with drink C? And then I also want the probability that I don't select somebody with drink C. Well, let's think about how many possible outcomes are there. There's 40 people to choose from. And how many of those are considered to be favorable. In other words, how many of them have drink C? Well, there's 10. And this reduces to 1 fourth. To get the probability of not having C, there are two ways to do this. We could look at everybody who doesn't have drink C and add them up, or we can do 1 minus the probability that they have drink C. A lot of times calculating probability in this way is substantially quicker than going back and recalculating using everybody that doesn't have drink C. So this would be 1 minus 1 fourth, better known as 3 fourths. So there's where we stop. It's just a basic quick introduction to probability. It should be enough to get you started.